Hi, I'm Stephanie Razzo. Welcome to Nature Sketch Creates American Jaguar Go Out and Sketch instructional video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to sketch an American Jaguar by applying what you learned in the step-by-step -step lesson. First, make sure you have all the materials you need before you go out to sketch. Head out to a zoo or sketch from an HD video at home. Today, I am sketching from a composite video of an American Jaguar for demonstrative purposes. Remember, this is just a sketch. Take your time, observe, and paint. Don't let yourself get too caught up with accuracy. Just relax and have fun. Apply what you know about American Jaguars from your step-by-step -step sketching lesson. First, you want to create a light sketch of the animal. So, I just want to get the basic shape on it. And this, I'm going to have to include the rock. So I'm going to add in the rock first that the Jaguar is sitting on. And then basically, the front of the Jaguar is about that size. And so this is just getting the sizing so it's not going to be too big for the page that actually fits on here. The jaguar kind of comes up like that. So thinking of different shapes, so this is like a rectangle, this is um, I'm going to go in like that. And then the head about that size and kind of the placement of the paws and that'll change just a little bit but now I know that's not going to be any bigger than my page if I stay about that size and I think I'll start here and start adding some of the outlines of the body and if you need to it's good to observe the animal for a while so you can get used to what it looks like and Doing your step-by-step -step lesson helps with that a little bit. And you want to kind of think of the anatomy while you're doing the drawing. It helps for placement and sizing. So first we're just adding all these lines in. Then I'm going to make sure so the everything lines up where it's supposed to and it's the right size so this looks like it's a little off it's hard from a moving animal it's an extra challenge and it's just a sketch so it's okay this is just practice and I'm not going to take in consideration where the stripes are right now. I'm just looking at the shape of the animal itself. And this is a composite video so you can see more of a still animal while I'm sketching than one that's constantly moving. It's a little better for the demonstration. start adding in details like the ear and as you can see the ears are about the same when it's looking forward and then I just think about the placement in relation to the ears where the eyes are so they kind of come there's a line kind of coming towards the eyes from the ears and down like this and then that's showing and the eyes go in The placement might be a little bit off and I can adjust that afterwards getting the basics in. So that placement's off a bit so I'm going to erase it real quick. 
don't get too carried away with it because it's a moving animal out of the sketch. Make sure it's the right size. to wait until the animal is looking forward each time. And this, even though it's a composite video, the animal looks back and forth. And so each time I have to wait. And when you're, if you're field sketching, you will have to wait for the animal to be in the right position. And you just draw whatever you can while the animal's in the correct position. So if, if I wanted to, if I needed to, if the paws were in the right spot, I would draw the paws. And then once the animal's forward facing, I would draw its face. And we're doing from a composite video. So this video isn't super long because having to wait for the animal to be in the correct position while sketching would just take a very long time and would be a very long video. And it might be a little confusing being able to get the animal in the right spot. Adding in some of the muscle areas here. And those might get redefined a little bit. But uh, let's see. making sure that those muscles are in there and that these are the placement is right and the shape is right so you get a lot of sketchy lines which will be fun kind of to look at and just getting that face again just the right size Sketch, so I'm not going to get carried too carried away with it. Might look a little off. And we'll fix it a, a bit more afterwards. This is the ugly stage. It looks a little weird. Jaguars have big, thick necks. Now I'm going to add in the body. So I'm kind of adding in this belly here and then the back leg coming up. There's a front paw, a back paw right here with the pads showing. I'm add those in real quick. And then back leg and maybe a little bit of the tail there. So as you can see, I've worked those into different sections rather than one whole, and then making sure they all kind of fit together. So then I have the basic animal, and the face looks a little off still. So I'll work on that just a little bit more, but not too much. I see now that now it's the placement with the ears with the eyes. The eyes are too far down. So I'm going to erase the eyes because the kind of placement really makes a difference. Now the eyes I'm noticing come from the ears here. And that, so that's, well, that wasn't too far off, but it was a little off. And then they come out. Just being a little off can really change 
the way things look with placements of things like the eyes. So that changes that sizing quite a bit. So it's important to look at the other elements and see what it lines up with for placement. Blah, blah, blah. And I used the ears here a bit for that on the top, but I should have used the bottom of the ears. And that looks a little bit better to me. And since the eyes were in the back, wrong spot, the nose was also in the wrong spot, so I'm going to erase that and redraw. And facing on where the eyes are, the nose is going to be just a bit different here. Now look at the ears again, try to line that up. So it's not too far off, but just a little bit, just like the eyes. Just using quick strokes. And Jaguar has this very wide nose. And then go ahead and add in the paws. real quick I'm not getting too exact there because it still looks like a jaguar even though the paws are not exact and if this is a moving animal you want to focus on the, the elements that will make this look like a jaguar like making sure the eyes are in the right spot face is the right size. And that's really what's going to distinguish it, that the sizing of the body when you're doing a quick sketch. If you have a sleeping jaguar at the zoo, maybe you have a lot more time. But I would recommend starting with those elements that make a difference, like the face, before working on the other elements too long the face really makes a difference. And the sizing of the head. Right, so now that I have the basic shape down, I'm going to start adding in the spots just really quickly, not being really exact. Just kind of drawing it in. Again, I make marks that I think are distinguishing areas like around the face around the eyes, and then work from there. Just quickly adding them in, not bring too much about exactness. Just getting them in in the basic direction and spacing. So, not super exact. of a moving animal. You may have to wait a minute between drawing some of the spots in. a little bit. The location of the spots aren't going to make it look like a jaguar or not. It's going to look like a jaguar. Even if 
the spots are in the wrong spot. Let's draw lines for the whiskers rather than dots where each one is just for speed. Scribbling it on. And my jaguar doesn't look exactly like the jaguar in the video, and that's okay. It still looks like a jaguar, and that's what we're trying to accomplish here. Not an exact copy, but a similar because it's a sketch, just something quick. Just a few spots in there. And I just need a few in between the eyes. I'm not even drawing some of the individual spots, I'm just kind of drawing the shape in. As you can see, not being exact at all, just trying to get the basic idea again. So that gives you the idea. I'm going to add some color, it'll look even better. Looks like a jaguar. Some of the elements might be a little off, and that's okay. And starting at the starting area here. I'm draw some shapes in there and help you with the sizing. Since it's constantly moving, it's pretty difficult to get it to the right, exactly the right size. So. I still think the nose is really throwing this off. It's just a little bit off here. Even though I put on all the stripes, I'm going to readjust it. And looking at it one more time. Here, the paint will hide my my marks that made mistakes. Pencil marks. Just feel like it's still, it was just a little too low, so I'm redrawing that in one more time. But I'm not going to worry about it too much here on out. Just gonna leave it the way it is. Pretty much the same still. All right, moving on. I'm going to just try to get these spots in as, soon, as quick as possible here by drawing lines and stripes. Maybe let's skip this part and add just for speed 
start adding the paint in and then put the stripes in, but it'd be a little better to add the stripes in right now. They don't have to be exact again, just kind of getting them in. Since this is a sketch, none of it has to be exact. You can erase a little bit, but please don't erase too much. Don't get too carried away with it. Starting at places like that I know, like right here where the arm is, and then working my way up helps keep track of where those spots are. And the spots are going to curve around. It's important to try to keep that curving in the, the direction of how the animal's body shape is more than how many spots it has or the exact location of the spots. It's more important to try to keep it curving around instead of being flat. So you gotta think of this as a round shape here and then it curves in towards the jaguar and then back out and then curves back up a little bit. So it's really important to pay attention to the shape more than the shape of the jaguar itself, more than the shape of the spots and how many spots. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like this. It's a good sketch. It looks like a jaguar, it's not exact. And now I'm going to add some paint. I have revived my paints I used for my step by step. I'm gonna use the same paints in the same order. I'm gonna take some very wet jaguar yellow and test it on my test paper. And pick up a little bit more, dab it on my towel, and apply it to my painting, to my drawing here. And see there's some yellow in the eyes, so I'm gonna add that to the eyes. And it's pretty much goes over the whole face, down here to the nose. into the ears a bit. Might be a little dark on the yellow, but make it a little brighter than the picture. That's fine. This is just a sketch. So exactly the same. And my picture is just a little bit off from the video, but that's okay because this is a sketch, it's just a practice. Jaguar's belly 
and under its paws, the end of its paws, and here its chest are going to be white, so I'm leaving all of that white. It's dry pretty fast. You can dab it with your finger like this. Don't smudge it by smearing it this way. Dab it to see if it's dry. It looks pretty dry. So I'm going to add the Jaguar Orange, just like I did in the step-by-step. -step. So I'm going to take some of that color and add a bunch of water to it. Dab it on my towel and then check it on my test paper. It looks pretty good. And I'm going to add it like I see in the video here. And I'm going to add a little darker. Since I started a bit darker with the yellow color. Adding that pretty much the same places as the yellow. And starting with my paint in the darker areas first and then working into the lighter areas with my paint pigment running out in my brush just like I did with the step by step. Clean out my paintbrush here. Let this dry and then move on. I'm going to add a little bit of the Jaguar Brown. So I'm going to pick that color up, test it on my test paper. It looks pretty good. Check that this is dry dry and then I'm going to add it to the spots just like I did in the step by step a few places here in the crown adding a little bit more contrast you can see in the video that the spots have a little bit more color some parts of body have a little bit more color, a little bit darker. I'm just kind of adding that in. The nose is a little bit darker. Still has that pinkish color, but it's also a bit darker. Spots are pretty dark. You can add the same paint to what areas, as long as you don't mind it kind of moving around a little bit. If you want to add it somewhere specific, make sure you have it in a dry spot. These spots are dark. Even though they're on the white, they have this kind of brownish color to them. So I'm making sure to add those in. You see that in the video as well as you did it with a step-by-step. Pause. And then 
guess I'm gonna add a little bit of this to the eyes. And clean my brush. I just add a tiny bit more of these stripes here. Spots that turned into stripes the way I drew them. Looks pretty good to me. I like the way it looks, so I'm cleaning off my brush and I'll let that dry, and then I'm going to add a little bit more color. It's pretty dry. I'm going to add in the orange, deeper orange, the darker orange color. I'm going to test it on my test strip. It's pretty good. Get a little bit more of that. And I'm going to start over here on this side. And again, looking at the animal, it's not super dark in the video, so I'm not going to add too much. I'm just going to adjust a little bit of this to add a little bit more of a highlight. The color is there. It's a little hard to see in the video. But you can see it so I'm going to add it in, mostly in the shadow areas. So I'm going to add it in those pots. This adds another level of color and character depth to the picture, which is important. It's not that great, and you can't see it very well. It's still, you can still see it there a little bit. So I'm going to exaggerate that a bit. The bit of brown I missed in this area, so I'll probably go back and add some brown again there. brush off and pick up a little more of this brown color and add it into this area so that it's consistent with the video. I'll clean my brush off and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this reddish color and add it to the nose. There is a little bit of reddish color in the nose. I'm sure it doesn't get too much, so I'm spreading it back down towards the tip of the nose rather than the broader area. Let that dry a little bit. It's close to dry. I think I can go ahead and start adding in this deep brown color. The made with that sepia. I'll test that on my test strip here. I probably should have tested that pink color for the nose too. And I'm going to add this color to the spots to really deepen them up. And we could just draw them in with black. If you're in a time crunch, you can do that. But the transparency of the watercolor makes it look a little bit better, has a little bit more depth. So I'm just going to paint over all of those and also here in the paw. onto your towel and get the water out of your brush or just maybe don't press any brush quite as hard. See some of the paint is going places I didn't necessarily intend so that's totally fine. This is just a sketch. There's 
needs to be in the right direction. The shape of the jaguar's body. And if the part around the eye is too hard for you to do with your brush, wait until you have the pen in hand for that part.
don't I think that I need to add a little bit of this very wet light sepia color so I'm adding some more water to it dabbing it off onto my towel and testing it out I think I need to add a little bit of that to the nose and this is dry so the nose and the upper nose right above the nose here has a little bit more of a brown color than there's a little bit of shadow under the face here too so I'm gonna a little bit of that to add a shadow because that is uh, I think an important part of this and adding those in a little different from our step-by-step with -step animals in a different position it's a different animal different jaguar that we're drawing from adding a few of those shadows in. That I think are kind of important spots to find this animal a bit. Just here at the bottom of the field a bit. That same light wet color. So a lot of water added to it in the palette, not on the paper wasn't quite dry so it kind of took a little of that paint with it. That's okay. Just a sketch, so it's alright. I'm just adding that little bit of shadow in here with a little bit more depth and dimension. It's best to let it dry, but if it smudges a little bit, that's fine. So like I said, it's a sketch, it's not exact, but I like where the color is at and I could definitely darken some different parts of this, but I think I'm gonna leave it just like this and then move on to the ink when it dries. I'm going to skip to the 01 micron. I might add a few fine details with the 05 micron, but I think there are a lot in this. I like to start with the eyes, but I'm just going to go through and basically redraw the lines I had drawn in the beginning. And any new lines that I see, I can draw those in them too. try to reserve some of the spots uh, with transparency from the watercolor. To add a little bit more dimension and depth. smudge any of that. I'm going to use this for my hand. Just try to be very careful not to smudge the ink while it's drying. Face looks about right, but like I said, it's one of the more important parts. Sizing and the face. I think I'll I like all the lines that are in there. So by the time I get my paint and my paintbrush, the ink should be dry enough. So I'll pick up a little bit more paint. I just want to darken up a few things like the pads on the foot. So a pretty dark, concentrated color there. Dab it on my towel because a little bit much. And add it into those a little bit. Maybe in a few of these spots they were a little bit light. I'm going to darken some of those up. And the one, it's mostly these ones, these spots that are on the bottom that are a little bit darker. And darken that space in. Maybe a little bit here. I'm 
gonna get too carried away. Now I'm just getting a little carried away. So I'm going to stop. As it is a sketch. And if you'd like to add more paint, you always can. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to add in the common name and the scientific name. whatever kind of observations you want to add to the outside here. You can definitely write in different things about the animal, anything you observed about the animal, any of your thoughts, how you were feeling that day, whatever you like to add, you can add it in to the white areas remaining around the picture of the animal. This is your sketchbook, make it yours. We're done. Great job observing your world and keep practicing. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and check out naturesketchcrate.com for future lesson crates.